Friday starts off on a sour note for several Flint and Flint Township businesses and nonprofits. When owners and workers show up to work this morning, they find broken windows and slashed tires after someone vandalizes more than a dozen buildings and several cars. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Wolfolk. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. Police in two communities are working together on very similar cases. Among the vandalism targets, the Flint Children's Museum, Mott Park Clubhouse, Easter Seals, and Sal's Gym, all in Flint. And in Flint Township, several businesses along Linden Road are affected, including Genesee Health Plan, Godwin's Furniture, and Heart to Heart Hospice, which are between Corona and Lennon Roads. Mid Michigan Now's Kyle Macon is in our digital studio tonight. And Kyle, you've been working to pull together as much information as possible on this. What do we know at this point? Stella, Mike, more than 14 businesses were vandalized in the last two days, but police have not told us yet if they think those are connected. I spent the afternoon speaking with those impacted and they told me that nothing was stolen. So they're wondering why would someone do this? I'd like to say it was just like, you know, we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, I really, I don't know why anyone in the way it's so many places, I just think it was bad luck. Ashley Saldana owns Sal's Gym, one of the four businesses that were vandalized in Flint overnight. She says her husband got to the gym at six in the morning to find multiple windows shattered. We've never had anything happen. This has been a wonderful place, a wonderful neighborhood. Um, it's just a very unfortunate thing that happened and it affected a lot of people. Just down the road, the Flint Children's Museum saw significant damage with multiple windows and even a door shattered. I refer to them as an attractive nuisance. They, they just are, right? If they can find a rock nearby, yep, they've definitely been broken. The nonprofit Easter Seals and Mott Park also had multiple windows shattered. At Mott Park, the vandal even destroyed a security camera, throwing it on the ground. This comes just a day after Flint Township had a string of vandalism along Linden Road. The places hit were Genesee Health Plan, Godwin's Furniture, most of the businesses at Oak Creek Office Park, and more. The worst of the damage came to Dean's Auto Sales, where more than two dozen cars had their windows shattered and their tires slashed. But even with the vandalism, the dealership is standing tall. I'm not going anywhere, and I really am grateful for the, the community that we have. And, you know, if we start to back down, then, then they win, and I, we're not going to let them win. Now that damage all happened in the city's fifth ward. That's Councilwoman Jerry Winfrey Cardi's area. And we reached out to her for a reaction to the vandalism. And she provided a statement saying, quote, I'm deeply troubled by the recent property destruction at the Flint Children's Museum and other businesses along the University Avenue corridor. This vandalism is not only harms local businesses, but also threatens the safety and well-being of our community members. Public safety is a top priority, and it's evident that we urgently need a additional police officers patrolling the city of Flint to address these concerning incidents and ensure security of our neighborhoods, end quote. Winfrey Carter is also urging residents to be cooperative with the police to prevent any other problems. Now, this is still under investigation, so make sure to stay tuned with Mid Michigan Now for any updates or developments on this case. And of course, make sure to monitor Mid Michigan Now or MidMichiganNow.com and the digital desk for more updates. Reporting live, I'm Kyle Macon, Mid Michigan Now.